about a week and a half ago, Runway released their much anticipated new image model titled Frames, and it's capable of some truly beautiful output. But how does it hold up against the king of the hill, the goat, Midjourney? That's what we're going to explore in this video today. If you're new here, I'm Andy. I make and direct product videos for tech companies for my day job, and I do AI stuff for professional creatives here on YouTube. If that sounds interesting to you, I would love it if you hit the subscribe button, but let's move along. So because my focus is on primarily commercial work, that's the lane we're going to stay in for these comparisons and this exploration. If you were hoping for, you know, the anime comparison video, this isn't the one for you. Sorry. Now. Let's get into it. Okay, so to be fair, we are going to test the exact same prompts in Midjourney and Runway, and we're also going to toss in a third option, which is Midjourney with personalization applied, because for me, that's really what Frames is competing against, because Midjourney with personalization is just so much better in general. And uh, so I'm curious to see the results. Let's start with a really common visual style you see from you know creative tool companies like, say, Adobe or Canva. Bright Creative Chaos. We're going to use the same prompt in both tools, following Runway's recommended prompt structure of art style, subject, setting, lighting, and color. Should work well for Midjourney also. So here's our results. I've cherry-picked the best overall image from each because showing you a grid of all the images on a small screen isn't going to be super helpful. But I'm going to be honest with you, it takes a lot more tries with frames, at least currently, to get a good cherry-picked output than it does with Midjourney. That's, that's just like my experience so far. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. Let's keep going. Next, let's get dreamy and textural. Maybe something that could work for a company like Perplexity. Gateways to new worlds, new knowledge, new infinite possibilities. Maybe a little bit collage inspired. So here we go. Dreamy, minimalist, muted color photo collage. A silhouetted man walking towards a doorway to a new world. He's on a red Mars-like planet with a black sky dotted with stars. The doorway is filled with blue glowing light. All right, the output was fairly equal across the models for this prompt. Although I did have frames image variation cranked up to four. It defaults to two when you start, but if you crank it up to four, it's going to explore more. Uh, I've found that that's a very helpful thing to do, especially when you're just kind of like trying to figure stuff out. So inside of that, I actually found some outputs that I liked more than what was perhaps more accurate to my initial prompt. Um, so that's kind of a nice thing about frames is that you can kind of let it go off the rails on purpose and see what happens. And finally, because I do a lot of AI video stuff, I wanted to see how frames stacked up against Midjourney for cinematic things, because to me, Runway is like a cinematic company. It's it's a, they're all about video, they're all about film and to be completely honest, I was a little disappointed. Let's take a look. As you can see from these comparisons, Midjourney pretty consistently, not 100% of the time, but pretty consistently outperformed with simple cinematic prompts. But to be fair, Runway's CEO himself has posted on X to not expect amazing results immediately from frames, that it's something that takes a little bit of time and effort and investment. It's definitely the type of model that is going to give you what you ask for most of the time, but it's not going to intuit and just throw in a bunch of stuff that you didn't ask for. And sometimes that can result in an output that feels maybe not as exciting as what you would get from mid-journey just right off the bat with a simple prompt. So it's kind of more of a intentional image model than it is, I don't know, exploratory. Then again, if you do crank up the um, whatever it is called, not randomization, but uh, you do get much more exploratory kind of things, and that can be fun. So there's that. And there's another thing, too. Um, Frames has a bunch of presets. So you can type in your prompt and then select some of these presets, and those are going to help create a uh, more rich aesthetic in most cases. So although those comparison results weren't terribly impressive, I definitely have been able to get some outputs from frames that I think do look really, really good. And in some instances are better than what I would get normally out of Midjourney. So it's not like super clear cut. One is better than the other. I think it's just like sometimes one is better than the other. Uh, but they're both pretty good. Now, here's the other thing that Frames has going for it that Midjourney doesn't. Runway ships tons of features 
very regularly. And that's not, <laughs> if, any, if you've been paying attention to Mid Journey at all, um, it's been months and months and months of V7 is coming. Well, we're thinking about V7 coming. Well, we were going to have V7 coming, but then there was a mistake. And so it's going to be longer. Actually, no, we're thinking it might not be longer, but we're still thinking about it. It can be a lot. Let's check out a little bit more uh, comparison stuff between runway and frames. Now, something Mid Journey doesn't do is video. Something runway does really well is video. So my question is, is there any benefit or um, difference between, say, taking a Mid Journey image and then going image to video in runway versus taking a frames image right from inside runway and just clicking the button and turning it into a video? Let's see. Based off those examples, I would say no, there is no difference whatsoever. So if you're hoping that there's some sort of benefit, I don't see it. But uh, the big benefit is just the overall workflow that Frames offers within Runway. Anyways, so taking all of this into consideration, taking that Frames is good, but not mid-journey, you could say, oh, wow, Andy made a video saying Frames is not good. But then you have to consider the things like the fact that Runway ships a lot of features. And I'm sure that within the next month, they're going to ship two to three features that will make this whole offering more compelling. That's just my take. I don't have any insider information. So this video isn't me saying Frames isn't good. This is me saying Frames is probably going to be really good. I think Frames has a lot of potential. Right now, it's not a mid-journey replacement for me, but I am enjoying playing with it. Okay. Well, that's... <laughs> That's that. Cause, 